In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Glendale. At number one, we have the Verdugo Mountains. This mountain range, located just outside of Glendale, offers a taste of Southern California's famous countryside. Hiking and biking are popular activities here, with rugged, unpaved land providing a truly natural experience. Abandoned fire roads and various paths wind through the terrain, with the Latuna Canyon Trail stretching for over two miles. At number two, we have the Museum of Neon Art. Established in 1981, this museum is dedicated to the preservation of neon works of art, including neon signs and kinetic art. The museum, which moved to Glendale in 2016, houses signature pieces such as neon signs from the famous Grauman's Chinese Theater and the Brown Derby. At number three, we have the Verdugo Park. This park, one of the largest in Glendale, is situated near the Verdugo Mountains. It offers a variety of activities, including play areas for children, baseball fields, basketball courts, picnic areas, horseshoe courts, and even a skate park. At number four, we have the Autry Museum of the American West. Opened in 1988, this museum is dedicated to telling the story of the American West through a variety of exhibits and events, including lectures, film festivals, and musical recitals. It also houses an art gallery named Art of the West. At number five, we have the Duke Magian Wilderness Park. This park, which was nearly destroyed in the infamous Station Fire of 2009, is home to a 200-year-old McFall Oak and offers trails such as the two-mile Dunsmore Canyon Trail, which ends with stunning views over Crescenta Valley. At number six, we have the Alex Theater. Built in 1925, this theater was originally a vaudeville house before it was transformed into a single-screen theater. Today, it has returned to its roots, hosting live performances such as musical theater, symphony orchestras, ballet recitals, and film and television screenings. At number seven, we have the Brand Boulevard. Known as the main drag in Glendale, Brand Boulevard is famous for its bookstores and strong cafe culture. It's also known for its eclectic stores, including those selling evening wear. At number eight, we have the Doctor's House Victorian Museum. This house, dating from 1890, was once home to four doctors. Restored by the Historical Society, it now offers tours led by docents who share the history of the house. At number nine, we have the Americana at Brand. This shopping powerhouse is one of the reasons Glendale is famous in California. It offers over 15 acres of shopping outlets, dining options, and a cinema which can accommodate up to 3,000 spectators. At number 10, we have the Glendale Public Library. Located on Harvard Street, this library is known for its special collections that tell the story of Glendale's history. It also boasts the largest collection of cat-related books in the world. At number 11, we have the Roslyn Art Gallery. This gallery aims to promote little-known Armenian art to the public. It houses both modern and classical pieces, making it a great place to visit if you're interested in Armenian art. At number 12, we have the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Also known as Glendale's Walk of Fame, this cemetery is the final resting place of many famous celebrities, including film stars, singers, and musicians such as Michael Jackson, Humphrey Bogart, and Sammy Davis Jr. At number 13, we have Porto's Bakery. This Cuban bakery is a favorite spot in Glendale, known for its delicious freshly baked goods. It's particularly famous for its breads, pastries, and signature Cuban sandwiches. At number 14, we have Rafi's Place. This restaurant is a testament to Glendale's large Armenian population, serving local favorites such as lula kebabs, delicious skewers of spicy beef. It's been in operation for many years and is one of the best-known places to sample Armenian cuisine in the city. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Glendale. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.